Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. The tools you will need for this repair are a quarter inch nut driver. Today we're working on a Maytag French door refrigerator. Uh, the customer's complaint is that the uh, control panel here up front at the dispenser was flashing and it was not cooling. So uh, we've already diagnosed that this issue is uh, in the high voltage control board that's on the back of the refrigerator. Uh, so to begin the repair, we're gonna start by pulling the refrigerator out. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, to gain access to the actual high voltage control board, we do have to remove this panel here. There are four quarter inch screws securing this panel to the back liner of the refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and remove them. As I begin to remove the last screw, I'm going to secure the panel with my free hand. That way it just doesn't fall to the floor. We'll set it aside. Now you can see the actual high voltage control board there. There is one more protective cover protecting the control. So on the right side, there's a little tab. We have to depress the tab and pull out, just like so. Set it aside. Next thing we wanna do is disconnect all the Molex connectors that come to the control board. You can see there are four. It doesn't matter which way you take them off, they're key to go on only one way and on one fitting. So you're just gonna press in the tab and pull out. Do that on all four. And this last one here, I'm just gonna hold the control board with my other hand while I remove the wires. So now that all the wires are removed, to remove the actual control board, there are two tabs, one up top and one at the bottom that have to be depressed to remove that control. So I'm gonna start at the top push the tabs in, and I'll do the same for the bottom. Now it's gonna start, on the, le the left hand side is gonna start rotating towards the outside and just pull it out just like so. Now we're ready to install the new control. To do so, we're gonna feed in the right hand side first, put them under the tabs on the right, line it up with the two notches that come through the holes and just push it down gently. Once it's, in, once it's secured, you'll hear a snap. Just like that. Now we're going to reconnect our wire connectors. Again, they're key to go on only one way. Line them up and push them straight on. Do that for all four. Just like that. Now we're ready to return the protective cover on the actual control. To do so, you're gonna line up the tabs that are on this cover into the left-hand side. Once they're inserted in their slots, go ahead and push down on the cover, just like so. Now we're ready to resecure the actual steel cover for the control. To do so, you want to line up the panel here, just like so. There is a tab on the other side, right here, that will be inserted into an opening on the right hand side. So, go ahead and line it up. And then once it's lined up, you can go ahead and return the four quarter inch screws. So once the panel is secure, we can go ahead and return power to the unit and then go on the front side of the refrigerator and 
program the actual control board. Now we're ready to program the actual control board. To begin so, we're going to press the door alarm key, key button and then the freezer down key button. So first the door alarm, then the freezer down, then let go of the door alarm, wait three seconds and let go of the actual freezer um, down button. As you can see, it went blank. The next step is to push the freezer down button. We'll push it down. Now you can see the four zeros returned. Uh, on the first zero, there was a decimal point. So uh, to move the actual decimal point, we would push the freezer down button. Um, to, uh, to move the actual numeral, we would push either the up or down on the refrigerator side. So the code again was 1411. So the first zero needs to be a one. So we'll push the freezer up, it's one. We wanna switch the decimal point over to the right by using the freezer up keypad. Uh, now the uh, decimal points at the second digit, this one should be a four. So we'll just push the up arrow until it's a four. So we got 14, we'll go over to the next two decimal points and do the same thing for 11. So once the actual program is in the display here, um, we can actually go ahead and hold down the freezer down key for three seconds until it starts blinking to save that code. Just like that. And then we're gonna open one of the fresh food doors and then shut it. And now the control board has been programmed and that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.